What's good, y'all? This your boy Tony, the finesse guy, man. And uh, I just want to talk about this 6 9 situation, man, since he's been turning in the news so much. Uh, TMZ reported today that uh, he's not going to go into witness protection and he's going to have 24 hour security. That's going to take a lot of work and it's, it's going to cost a lot of money uh, to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? To, to have all that security, you know, in and out. You know, it, it's going to be hard, but he says he plans on, uh, you know, pursuing his rap career and keep on doing his thing. But, um, yeah, man, uh, about a week ago, this this video I had dropped about Jim Jones talking about how he was going to super violate um, 6 9 man. And uh, they, they got the, the phone calls recorded, you know what I mean? I don't know if these old heads is up with the technology or not, but it's like... You got to watch what you're saying over the phones, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I don't know if uh, Jim Jones could be arrested for this. Hopefully not. But he seemed like he, he really with the shit, you know. Uh, they say he wanted, like, the ringleaders, like, one of the head niggas up there or something like that. Probably because he's making a lot of money. But um, I don't know why everybody's surprised that 6 9 is a snitch. Everybody knew, like, he was kind of weird when he came out with the rainbow colored hair. Um... They should have been done with him when they found out that all those reports was coming out about him with the little 13-year-old girl. You know what I'm saying? They should have been off with him because in L.A., that's a no-go, homie. You definitely, they, you would have been dead. You know what I'm saying? But, um, man, let's let's check out this audio real quick. He definitely, he definitely, he definitely humiliating shot right now, bro. Well, like, you're up there next to the post, you're like, when you, when you go to YouTube and World Star, you got his picture next to this shit. Everything he say, he got a split screen with shiny picture next to this shit. I said, this shit crazy, son. <laughs> but he's going out, he's going out to make K-9 think he don't got no relationship with boy boy. That's what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to let me, he's trying to suck me with Ain't too much he can really do unless he gonna go run around with a hundred armed securities all day. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get shot of pain. He ain't, he ain't getting enough money for that. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, he gonna get shot of pain. 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 Yeah, he gonna get shot of pain you know, help him out with this 24-hour security, you know what I mean, and who knows, this all may die down, I mean, shit, Frank Lucas was one of the biggest drug dealers, and, uh, end up getting a fucking movie, and he, he told on everybody, his cousin folded, told on him, he told on everybody else, you know what I'm saying, and everybody started folding like paper, so a lot of y'all out there talking about, oh, I wouldn't snitch, or I wouldn't do this and I wouldn't do that. You don't know what the fuck you do until you put in these niggas' shoes. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know, you know what I mean, until the shit really happens to you. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, if you don't, for y'all young kids, if y'all don't ever want to get caught up in this type of shit, just stay out the streets, period. And, um, you know, stay in school and stay focused and, and go get a bag instead of trying to be hard and shit. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, I think I think Six Nine should definitely uh, drop a movie or something about his life and how all this happened since he already telling everything anyways. He ain't a gang member no more. Nah, he ain't nothing. That's what Nick. That's that's what Shotty needs to make sure he do. Nah, just tell that nigga that he not a gang member no more. He he kicked out the whip. He was never a gang member. Nigga, Shotty need to expose him like. Nah, he's never to do. Yeah, they got a TMZ. TMZ want to talk to niggas on Monday. Like, like, you want me? Um, Crippy. Um, I think he said. Nah, uh, you don't need to be on no TMZ. Let Shardy be on TMZ. I'm not going to get on it, but he wanted me to talk to niggas and tell niggas what happened. Because, like, you know, nah. my, 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 my lap first, you feel me? Like, you know, I'm going to talk to him. Nah, you don't say nothing. You let Shardy handle that shit, bro. You don't say nothing. I'm, I'm definitely feeling Jim Jones on this, man. You don't you don't say nothing. You know, I don't even know who, who this dude was until this audio tape came out, to be honest. 
it makes no sense for him to just be out there on TMZ. Because then, you know, it's like, well, for So I feel Jim Jones on this. You don't say nothing. Don't do nothing. You let Shotty handle this because Shotty's the one who starts saying this to a nigga's blood, all this and that. You know what I mean? You let him, you know, clear this shit up. Because this is his problem now. And now he got the feds on this and everything. So I feel Jim Jones on this. He talked some real shit. So don't say nothing. Nah, Shotty gotta handle that shit. He get on TMZ, he need to talk his talk, and he talk his shit. You dig? Mm-hmm. And he need to be very, very, very articulate about what he say and why he, put, why he made people think that nigga was a gang member. He need to let niggas know that he was never a gang member. He was always a money, a money ploy for the gang members. Mm-hmm. And he gotta figure it out. But they gonna have to violate Shorty because Shorty on some bullshit. Love you sure you think he gonna be going to the strip clubs and all that type of shit? Like, Shotty better get on his A game. <laughs> uh, Shotty, I already know Shotty. You know how that nigga is a demon, homie. You know how that nigga live with shit like this, homie. He gonna treat, he gonna treat that nigga like he was blowing Chinese shit up. He gonna be lying with that nigga, screw up. You ain't got nothing to lose no more. This is all he has. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, he better get the violating. He better stalk Shorty every move. <laughs> One well, of them security better get hit. Some, some better happen. Well, uh, he better start mobbing, dude. He better start doing some. Once he start tearing the security down, ain't no security gonna want, gonna want that job. He gonna have to stay in the house pretty soon. That's it. That's what happens. Once, once security get injured, them niggas like, nah, he's too much of a liability. I ain't, guy, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna protect nobody that know that is causing harm to us, no. <laughs> and that's all these niggas gotta say. Well, Shotty, let niggas know, man, bro, we gonna tear the security up, bro. We not even worried about you, bro. You the, you, you ain't even afraid, you ain't even, we gonna tear the security up. <laughs> Once niggas start doing that, the security gonna be like, listen, bro, I ain't in it for this, bro. You gonna have to, you gonna have to do this shit on your own time, bro. You can't, the, the, the security out of New York can't run around with fire on them, right? Nah, them niggas, or, or unless they, unless they ex-police, but it don't matter at that time because they doing an illegal job. Mm. Mm. You dig? Mm. And it don't matter because if shot ain't run down on them, they can't pull their gun out to shoot nobody unless a gun is pulled out. Chain. Now, see, the thing about that is, is, you know, it's easy to say, he got a gun and just shoot, you know what I'm saying? The police do it all the time. So that don't mean shit, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, man, it's a lot of information going on over the phone. You know, they used and abused this boy. Um, I don't know, I, it's hard for me to say. I really don't, I really, I, I kind of feel bad for him, I kind of do. Because, you know, they took advantage of the, the boy, they pimped him out. You know, they was raping him for all this money, you know. But um, he was trying to take care of people. It felt like he needed somebody. He lost his dad at a young age. You know what I'm saying? So he probably needed that father figure, and that's probably why he had all these niggas around him that mis- misled him, you know. And he said, you got to feed the wolves, and he was feeding them, taking care of them, but they were stealing. I'm pretty sure if they wasn't stealing, then... You know, none of this shit um, would have ever happen with him trying to fire them or probably maybe even snitching on them. I don't know. He probably would have did it anyways. But, um, yeah, man, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, check, out my, uh, check out more videos on my YouTube.